Hey guys, Chef R here. Uh, today I'm gonna demo some of the knife cuts that you've seen probably uh, in the beginning of the semester. So today uh, I'm gonna do a parmentier. So if you remember what the parmentier cut is, it's a half inch by half inch by half inch dice. So today what I have is one russet potato, a bowl for the scraps, another bowl for the finished product. We've got a cutting board here. And if you remember, we always put a wet paper towel underneath the cutting board so it doesn't slide. I have the proper knife for this job is gonna be, this is a 12 inch chef's knife. All right, and then finally we have one said peeler. All right, so as I get started, right, so we have everything we need um, all here so I don't have to go back and forth to get things as I go through this process. So the first thing that we're gonna do is peel the potato. Now I know that you, you guys know from the previous demos I've done, right, when we peel the potato, all right, we can use, all right, so here we have a little brown eye. We can use this little part of the peeler and we can, all right, just get that out. If it's too deep, we can just use a knife later on when we trim it. All right, so a couple different scenarios here. We can use the back side and go towards our thumb. We could go away from ourselves. We could use both sides of the blade. We could go back and forth, right? So there's some different things to do. Generally, you wanna stay away from the little kind of cuts like this that's something that the people used to do when they're in the Navy because that's their only job all day long so it didn't matter if they were efficient with peeling the potato or not all right I'm not gonna worry too much about this end because we're gonna cut it off anyway all right so once I get all my scraps up I'll put these to the side and then I can start working on my knife cut all right, so here, just a regular potato. If you guys remember, first thing we want to do is cut the potato very slightly so that we have a nice flat surface so this thing doesn't roll around. We can still use this if we're making mashed potatoes, which we're going to do today. We can save that. And then from there, we're going to square it off. So using my fingers as a guide, this is my guiding hand. This is my cutting hand. All right, knife against the knuckles. And then if you remember, all right, the knife always works better when it goes in one direction or another. Never just push down. I have to put a lot of force in that if I just push down. But if I push down and forward, the knife does all the work. All right, same thing. Knuckles against the knife, push down, it goes through pretty easily. Push down and forward. All right, and then we have one last cut. So at this point, you can see we have what resembles a pretty decent rectangle. All right, so for our parmentier, all right, it's two inches long, so we can cut it down toward two inches or rough, roughly two inches. All right, put that to the side. So then we're going to do our half inch cut. So from there, we're going to use those knuckles again, all right, with the grip with that thumb behind so I don't cut myself. And I'm going to measure, and I can take a look, and I can measure down each end to see if it's even that way. It's not like a trapezoid, right? Which is not what we're looking for. So from here again, I could just kind of put it in, look and see, and then from there, again, down and forward. Down and forward. So this is a great way to practice, all right? We wouldn't necessarily do this in a professional kitchen because we'd have a decent amount of waste. All right, but for our sake, this is how we practice. So once I have my half inch plank, then I'm going to go a half inch again, down and forward, down and forward, and then we can take these two, down and forward, to get our half inch cubes. All right, and that's going to be the parmentier cut. All right, so just remember where your hands are, where your thumb is supposed to be. All right, so your guiding hand is going to be your non-dominant hand and your cutting hand is going to be your dominant hand. All right, we'll finish up with this last set here. All right, so th this kind of cut too, if you want to practice at home, all right, this is great for like home fries. So if you're doing breakfast, you practice your parmentier cut. All right, and then whatever you have at the end, you can use to make some nice home fries. Right, 
that's going to be your parmentier. All right, parmentier potatoes or palm parmentier if you were 100% French. So these scraps we can use for mashed potatoes or whatever you want to do. All right, so don't, don't forget. All right, there'll be five questions for you to answer at the end of this video, and that'll be part of your assignment today. So once you get done watching this, go on. All right, answer the five questions. I've put all the answers in this very short video. All right, so no mise en place, right? What does mise en place mean? That'll be the first question. And then the other four questions will be over the different things that I went over. All right, good seeing you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.